So the game I'm playing today is called Static Cling. This is a puzzle platformer where you have to guide a little spark of electricity and you have to help him escape a laboratory of some sort? Or something along those lines. This game doesn't really have that much of a plot and there is a bit of a reason for that. So this game was developed for a game jam and specifically it was developed for the 2021 Game Makers Toolkit Jam. I've covered a couple of games that were made for the GMTK Jam on my channel in the past. There was that double feature video that I did last year where I covered Pink River and Laser Wave, both of which were made for last year's GMTK Jam. And this year's installment of the Game Jam took place only a week ago. And already there is quite a handful of really interesting games that have been submitted to the jam. There were many games I came across that really piqued my interest, but I chose to do a video on this one today because this was the one that interested me the most. So this game is rather short, which I'm not too surprised by because it was made in just 48 hours. Now what's interesting about this game in particular is that it wasn't developed by just one person. It was actually developed by an entire team of people. Static Cling was programmed mostly by just one person, but there were at least nine other people who had contributed to this project in one way or another. Some of the other team members also made the artwork for the game, one of them also created the music, I believe the music in Static Cling is completely original, and there were a couple of other contributors that also did some of the level design. So in total, there were about 10 people who worked on Static Cling, and because of the fact that this was made for a game jam, it is completely free to download. Again, the link will be provided in the description, it's only available on itch.io right now. So with that being said, I would like to just get started right away. So there's three worlds in this version of the game. The first world is called Deep Facility, and I only played the first level of the game off screen just to see how exactly it played. Like I stated before, the game is not terribly long, there's only about 21 levels in total. I might be able to get through all of them in this video, but we'll see. For now though, we are gonna go to Ohm's Law, and we are gonna try and get started here. So the way that this game works is that this little guy right here, I don't think he has an official name, but he is attached to this wire right here. So what we have to do is that we have to left click on him, and as you can see, we can drag him out to a certain point. Kind of has like a little chain attached to him right here. But what we can do is that we can drag him over to this little light bulb right here. And if we want to make him move through this current, we can use the arrow keys in order to make him move around. I think the direction that he moves in depends on which arrow key you press. So I think if you want to make him move upwards, then you have to press the up arrow key. Yeah, because left and right arrow keys are not doing anything and neither is the down arrow key. So we have to press the up arrow key for that one. Yeah, so we just kind of drag him to these light bulbs. There's a little bit of a junction right here. If we want to move him to the left, we can. But I don't believe we want to do that. We want to move him upwards. I think we could also move him back as well, but I don't think we want to do either of those things because we want to just want to just move on for now. We have to make him jump in between those light bulbs, and we have to make him get to this uh, this spark plug right here. We got to put him into the socket, and once we're able to put him in there, that's the end of the level. So this level is called field testing, and I have not played this level off screen at all. So the rest of this video is going to be blind. Uh, what exactly is this? Uh oh. There's a lost connection here, or the connection is broken, it seems. Hmm. Well, it seems like there's a door that we can also open as well, some way that we can unlock that, perhaps. So what exactly do we do about this? Do we actually have to go back? Uh, well, I, I don't see why we, would, why we would have to, or maybe we do need to go back, actually. I also just noticed that there's a pair of Ayas that are following us in the background. It's like following all of my movements here. I don't really know how I feel about that. Uh, okay, so what exactly do we do here? Unless I can move him into the the gate. Oh no, I can... Oh, okay, I wasn't paying attention to this blackboard. It's showing us that we can move through these, uh, these doors here. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I get ya. I get ya. But is there some way to power that, though? There must be. Oh yeah, okay, I guess it's showing us that he can actually move through walls. Alright. Okay. I get it. I guess there is no way to actually open that door, because that's the end of the level. Okay. New clothes? Alright, what is this level all about? Let's check it out here. 
There probably is some way to fail some of these levels. I imagine it would be possible to die in like the later levels, perhaps. Okay, what what are you doing about what are you doing here? Oh wait. Okay, there's a light bulb. Why did what is this? Exclamation marks? Whoa, A D or spacebar. Okay, what does spacebar do? Oh! So he can actually move around as well. Now he has he has legs. Oh god, I don't know how that looks. That looks a little creepy. Okay, now we can actually move around here. Press spacebar to jump. Okay, what is that? That looks like some sort of switch. So let me let me enter this right here. Oh yeah, here we go. I can still like I can still take him out of the light bulb. Okay, enable this. Oh, that's how we open the doors. Okay. It's like a generator that we can hit. Okay. I get it. So I imagine we'll probably have to go through here. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if there's fall damage at all. Uh, yeah, probably hit this switch as well. There we go. Send a current over to that door right there. So that door is open now. And I do believe this is where the spark plug is at, right? Oh, does it only... It, it only stays open for a, a short period of time. Okay. Actually, okay, I can't stretch you through that, though. That's the only issue. So probably what I gotta do... So I gotta move you over immediately, and then start moving over to the door, because I guess this only stays open for a short period of time. Yeah, it does. Okay, and then go into the spark plug. Alright, that's it for that level. Push factor. Right, well there's a block. I can probably push it onto that switch. And this will give power to that door. Uh, R key to... to do what exactly? To undo? Or like, re restart? Okay, that's only if I if that's only if I commit like a like a royal error or something like a like a grave mistake. Okay, what is this? There is definitely an ampersand on that symbol right there. What exactly does that mean though? I don't know, but I can hit this switch. Yeah, and it brings out a current to that door. Okay, well I I mean I got through it, so I guess I guess we're good on that front. Let's just keep on going. All right, so I'm thinking that I have to like push this block out of the way just a little bit. Yeah, and then move it back over here. There we go, to bring a current over to, to this door. Uh, okay, actually, hang on a second. There's only, like, one little problem here. Uh, I can't jump that high. I'm basically stuck. Oh, and when I reset, it brings me all the way back to the start of the level. Okay, that's gonna be a little annoying, but I, I think I can, I think I can roll with it. Okay, alter alternative idea. Just use myself, and then try to push this block out of the way. There we go. That seems to work. That seems to work just as well. And that actually does lead me to the end of the level. Okay, yeah, so I guess... I, I guess the amount of power that some of these switches have depends on how long I hold them down for. So if I give them enough power, then I can... I can just walk off of them and they'll stay activated for like a few seconds, so that way I can still get through some of the doors. Okay, I, I understand. I understand what exactly I'm doing wrong here. Oh god, okay. God, this is like a logic circuit of some sort. What is what is going on here? Hit this? Okay, yeah, that opens up the door. How long is that gonna stay enabled for? Probably not for long. Oh god. Oh, it closes immediately. Um, okay. I gotta think about this here. Oh, I see. I think I have to hit it as soon as I, uh... Yeah. I, I, I have to, like, get back into my little light bulb here with legs as soon as I hit that switch. Otherwise, the door's gonna close again. Alright, let's keep on going. This is probably gonna activate something when I go through it. Yeah, it looks like it does. Uh, doesn't activate it for that long, though. Wait, is that literally the whole level? Okay, I guess it was. Fine, volatile state. What exactly is this all about? Uh, yeah, go over to here. This is gonna activate something, it seems. Okay, hang on. Do I want to put you down there? Because it kind of seems like that's gonna get rid of a platform of some sort. Uh... Yeah, I think I want to- I think I want to go to the right. Come out here. Okay, yeah, that does actually work. That's kind of what I was thinking. Alright. Keep going over this way. Yeah, there's something over here that I need to activate. Activate this battery. Okay, got some power. This is gonna activate the platforms for a short period of time. Yeah, because that's- that's not permanent. Okay, so then I have to get out of here. Jump up. Jump around. Jump around town. Damn it. Hold on a second. Oh my god, dude, I'm messing up my jumps so badly right now. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, what does this switch do? This also activates a battery. Oh god, okay, what exactly do we want to do here? Because there's a lot of, like, different- different circuits here. And there's also another, like, little- little light bulb that I can- that I can jump into as well. Let me think about this. 
Okay, I think maybe what I want to do is that I want to have this light bulb right here stay on this platform, I think. Yeah, you know what? I'm pretty sure that is what I want to do. Hang on. Yeah, so what I would like to do, go down here, go into this light bulb. Yeah, change into this body right here. And then, I think, go into this bulb. Yeah, it seems like I can still reach it. Oh, okay. Well, hang on a second. I think what I have to do, what I actually need to do... Uh... Okay, well, hold on a minute now. Because I actually can't... I can't jump high enough to go up there. Okay, wait. Go back to this body for a minute. Hold on a second. What if I do something like this? I can't jump all the way over there, though. That's the only problem. Well, I could probably keep this one up here, because am I going to be able to reach this one? Yeah, okay, I can. I will be able to. And then what about... Yeah, what is this going to do? This is going to drop it down. But then I think... I could leave that one there and I could just go up and to the end, right? Unless I'm gonna require that other platform. Okay, no, I don't need this... I, I don't need the, the platform at the very end to be activated. Because I can still make that jump either way. Okay. Mad Rush. Oh god. Righty, uh, what is Mad Rush then? Oh Jesus, I'm probably gonna have to... I'm gonna have to rush it, right? Right? Hit that. Jump. Oh Jesus, okay, well I got it. Oh damn it, I did not get it. What, what on earth made you think, or made me think that I got that? Okay, this one appears to be a race against time. Yeah, this is also gonna depend on how, uh, how fast my cursor speed is as well. There we go. Open it up. There we go. Very nice. Can't hesitate at all. Gotta get through that as fast as possible. Alright, we're on world two now. Idle hands. There is a little spider crawling on my wall right now. Well, I mean, as long as he stays over there and doesn't, doesn't come near me, then it, it will be good, okay? Uh, I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Where does this take me? Oh lord. Okay, it takes me to a room with another light bulb. What do I do here? That's a magnet. Okay, it drags the light bulb to that magnet. I'm assuming I did a right thing. A correct thing? Maybe? <laughs> I don't exactly know for sure. Um... Oh god. Okay, well, I mean, I can still, like, walk over here at the very least. Okay. What exactly do we do about this? This looks treacherous. Oh, wait a second. Wait. I see where the magnet is placed, and I know exactly what I think I should do? Uh, go, go into the light bulb, please. There's no platform for that to stand on, though. That's the only issue. Um. Hmm. Okay, let me, let me, let me think about this. Let me think about this, because I think I have the right idea. It's just a matter of whether or not I execute it well. Hold on. Over here. Over this way. Up and around. Yes, indeed. Bounce off of that. Do I have to... Oh, I have to probably go in it. And then go out of the... There we go. Go back into this light bulb before it disappears? Oh, maybe it's... Maybe it doesn't actually disappear. Okay, well, never mind. That level's done then. I thought the generator was gonna, like, shut down after a while. I guess it doesn't. It just stays enabled. Okay. Okay. Field line. What exactly is field line all about? Another battery that I have to activate. Yeah. Oh, magnet. Thank you very much. Bring me up here. Very nice. Okay. Up and around. I see. We're playing with magnets now, are we? Right, so I'm thinking orient myself like that or like keep my little light bulb body down there. Yeah, so then I can move through. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. Why did that not work? Hang on. Do I have to actually like... Oh, I have to keep sending a signal. Oh, okay. I have to like do the I have to like do this multiple times. Okay. Well, there we go. It shouldn't it shouldn't fall down now. There we go. Now I can go and retrieve it. There we go. Get back into my body. Okay. What's the third one? God, what is this mess of wires and circuits? Jesus. Okay, hang on. I think I see what I have to do actually. Go here. Move it. Okay, what is moving it left going to do? It's gonna activate those magnets. Okay, that's not what I want. Not what I want. Okay, now I think it's what I want, though, because don't I wanna activate this and... Yeah, activate that. Okay, it's, it's up there, actually. Okay, well, that was that was simple enough. Okay, let's, let's travel up. Travel upwards. Get back in my body. And that's apparently the entire level. Okay. Uh, level 2-3, fuse filter. Oh, Jesus, what is that? Is that water? I think that is water. Let me guess, I, the, the, the whole water is going to become electrocuted when I enter it. 
Yeah, that seems to be the case. Um, okay. So what exactly can this do? Oh, I control his face with my cursor. Oh, right. Uh, well, actually, no. What do I do now? I don't really know. <laughs> can I still, like, move him through the walls? Apparently I can. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what I was doing wrong. I, I forgot that I... I keep forgetting that I can, in fact, move him through walls. Oh, but that actually deactivated the thing. Okay, hang on. Okay, I think I need to... I, I think I need to work fast here. Oh, please. Damn it. Okay, well, hang on a second. I have an idea. What if I just take my body down there? Go back in here, throw some signals around. Go through here, open it back up. I should be able to. Yeah, okay, there we go. There we go. I was able to get inside. I can probably... Can I go into this water? Really? I, I, I'm not, I'm not long enough for that? Damn it. Well, I mean, I can jump. Okay, well, hold on a second. What exactly do I want to do here? I'm thinking that I could very easily hit that water up there, can't I? Really, I'm not, I'm not long enough. Okay, hang on. Oh! I can jump while dragging the, the little spark guy. Okay, well that's kind of what I was thinking. I was thinking like maybe I had to jump to that. But I couldn't figure out how to. Yeah, okay, okay. So then what do we, what do we do about this? What do we do about this? I probably have to jump up to this body. Yeah. And then this one. And I just, I can't open it like this. Well, I mean, I can go through it still, but I think I have to open up this platform so that this other light bulb can fall through it. So I think I have to go through here. Yeah, and that's gonna, that's gonna actually deactivate that. Okay, well, hang on. And I can still travel through walls anyway. Okay, that's good. That is very good indeed. This is just a wall, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, there's the ending up there. Okay, what is that magnet gonna do for us? Okay, do I have to actually drag this through the water? This one I need to drag through? How am I gonna do that, though? I can go into the water. Oh, I can still control it even when I'm in the water, even when I'm literally just a face. Okay. All right, works for me. Bring me back up to my body, please. Here we go. I'm here to grab it. Uh, excuse me? Oh, wait, maybe I need to go back into my, my other body first. And then move on through... Oh, uh, please, thank you very much. Okay, yeah, and then through here... Well, really? Am I... Was I not able to... <laughs> Was I really not able to just reach it like that? Okay, fine, go back in. Hang on. Try and get, try and get, oh my god, please. Okay, stay in here for a few seconds and then, and then get in my body. There we go. I think it depends on how many, how many signals are being thrown. There we go, nice. All right. That's it for that level. Now we're on the tower defense. Uh-oh. I don't like those turrets. I don't like how those turrets look. All right, let's see what we got here. Got my body. Open up this door. It's gonna send, oh my god, yeah, the, those, those are some, some turrets, all right. Shooting out all sorts of laser beams. Laser beams. Uh, probably have to put you right here, if I had to guess. Uh, that's only going in one direction, though, right? I think. What is this gonna do? Okay, it drops you down. Drops you down. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Can I take control of the turrets? That's a no. That is a definite no. Um. Am I just gonna have to, like, rush? Rush it before they kill me? I guess so. Okay, what are these generators doing? Oh, good lord. Um, yeah? Well, that's kind of a problem, isn't it? Uh, jump. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna have to, like, do very precise jumps. E! Okay. Oh! Okay, that's, that's fine. Hit this. Oh, creates a wall. Okay. And then drop. Oh, and I guess that's it. All right. God, okay, the laser. The, the, yeah, the turrets now. I don't know what, what exactly that, that said. Hang on. What's the name of this level? Strange Attraction. Right, let's see what this one's all about. That What is... Okay, hang on a second. This light bulb looks slightly different. Oh, it's magnetized. I can run on the, the ceiling now. Um... Yeah, that's staring directly at me. That's... That, that turret's, like, staring me down. Okay, what was what this gonna do? Oh, no. Wait, did that... Or did that even do anything? Hang on a sec. What did this... What did this do exactly? Oh, it's going straight into an and, and it's not actually doing anything. Okay, good. Fine then. I have to try and open up that door behind them somehow. But is it possible for me to... To, like... Oh, I can't actually jump. I guess because this one is magnetized. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, well, it seems like what I could do right now is jump over to this body. But what is this gonna do? Do I need to... I'm... 
do I? Okay, hang on. What does this do? Okay, yeah, that does actually activate the turrets. That's kind of what I was thinking. So do I need to try and somehow just jump over all of that? Probably? Let's see about this here. I'm gonna assume I have to jump over this first one. Then what do I do about the second one, though? Unless I can try and, like, hit this and then try to... God, try to go into the light bulb as quick as I can, perhaps? I mean, there is another bulb up there, I just noticed, like, where I'm where I'm pointing to. Probably some way that we can get to that, though. Most likely. Yeah, and I just- I can't just reach it all the way- from all the way over here. So I probably have to- uh, and then- uh, oh my god. It's not giving me, like, any time at all, dude. Or maybe I have to, like- well, well, no, I can- I can do this while jumping. We established that in, like, uh, level 2-3. That we can do this while jumping, right? Drag well, drag and jump, basically. Or I can still, like... Yeah, I can basically run around like this while still dragging myself outwards, actually. So what if I just do this? Where I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> Bro, this is this has gotta work, otherwise... Yeah, that's what I figured. That's what I figured. Okay, yeah, so my body still gets destroyed, though. Yeah, so just move all the way over here, then. And I don't know what exactly that's gonna activate. Another another switch of some sort. Hey, let's get to my own body first. Probably need to bring it down here if I had to guess. Oh yeah, because that door down there is open now, so I need to go back in this body. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, I, I actually wait, no. I can't jump over this. Okay, well I can just move on to this one then. <laughs> just keep that there. I probably have to bring this blockage down again. Uh, looks like I can do that by just moving this block. This one. Well, both of these are, are activated now. Uh, don't want... I don't want both of these to be activated. I only want one of these things. There we go. Okay, but now we have a problem, though, because that platform is gone now. And I'm just gonna, like, I'm just gonna end up falling into those lasers that are now activated. So hang on, can I, like... Okay, well, I guess I'm not- I'm not getting that block back now. Great, perfect. Oh wait, no. It's because I was- I was stepping on this thing, that's why. Okay, hang on a second. Send signals. Jump. Off of that. Nice. Okay, go down here. And I'm not gonna be able to reach that. Actually, what if I just fall- there we go. Fall a little more precisely. Nice. Okay, now we're in here. And I can't even, like, I, I can't even jump with the magnets, right? So I can just fall for- uh, fall up this way. Yes. Oh, that is actually the end. That's the spark plug. Okay. Well, uh, that was a little more treacherous there. Motor effect. Okay, that one definitely scared the frick out of me. Um, so... What about this here? What, what about this? Hang on. I can control these even when I'm in the water. So I want you guys to move over to the right and activate these buttons. Which is gonna open up that first door. So then can I jump over to this button right here? Yeah, it seems like I can. Or like this this light bulb, I mean. Okay. What exactly do we want to do about this? I guess I have to, yeah, bring you up here. Then I have to go back around. Uh, oh yeah, because I can I can just hit this in order to like activate. Send, send some signals towards that. Okay, my phone is ringing again. Hang on a second. Okay, well that was almost open. Please hold. I have an idea. Please? Okay, I can apparently get killed by the door as well. There we go, I got through the door that time. Okay, so you gotta go down this way then? Yes? Okay, let's go down here. Get another body. Okay, we got magnets. Okay, we're bringing- we're bringing the- the- the block with us. I see, so I guess I wanna- I wanna try and hit this and then drop it into- Yeah, I gotta drop it onto that switch because I guess that that's gonna- gonna activate this door. Yeah? Probably should have approached that from the other side. Okay, well, whatever. That's apparently the end of the level. That was it. Okay. I thought that was going to be a little longer. The hustle? Hold on. Hold on a minute. I already see a magnet activated. Whoa, hold on a minute, buddy boy. Let me let me try and get my bearings first. Like, where am I even supposed to go? Uh, well, I mean, I can jump up here. Uh, oh wait, no. I see where I have to go. Gotta jump in here. Hit this switch. Which, that's, I, 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 okay, yeah, we need to, it, it told us we got a hustle, right? So, please, okay, well, I guess that's just gone now. <laughs> okay, but I do see what I gotta do, so I need to, I need to, like, hurry. I gotta hurry here. Yeah, we only need, like, one activation of this switch right here. Yeah, because then, 
I wanna- oh my god, dude, I'm like hesitating so much that I'm, I'm just like screwing everything up. There we go. Here we go. Okay, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Okay, and now through here... Okay, is this just gonna stay activated? Yeah? Okay, what is- what is this switch? Um, yeah, this is the end of the level, so I'm assuming just- I just have to, uh, probably hit this magnet a few times, if I had to guess, and then just- just write it upwards, and then we can get into the spark plug. Okay, so how long does this signal last for? Oh, it lasts for a, a fair amount of time. Okay, hang on a second. Gonna hit this, and then go back up to here, 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 and into the spark plug. There we go. Alright, well that's it for World 2. Now we're on to World 3, Rogue Spark. What is that purple stuff? Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of that. Okay, well, let's- let- let's try it. Let, let's see where this takes us. Oh, that- oh god, that kills me instantly, even when I'm like- like moving around. Okay, so I need to be like very- very cautious about this then. I need to go like- there we go. I need to be like super precise with this now. Um... I mean... What would happen if I passed through here? Okay, no, that kills me as well. Okay, so that's like a trap then. It's a trap. Because if I go through that, then it's- it's gonna kill me outright. Okay, so... Through here... Probably just skip that altogether. Yeah, I can. I can. Okay, and then what is- what exactly is this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh, how exactly am I supposed to get through this? Okay, well, actually, wait a second. It looked- it looked like I- I was still walking through that, though. Oh, wait, I see what I gotta do. My body's not destroyed by it. Not- not- not typically. Yeah. The body itself is not destroyed. Okay, well then, wait a second, how the heck am I gonna do this? Okay, I think I see how I can get around this. I just have to point myself straight upwards and then jump? Okay, well, if it's following my cursor, that's not a good thing. Cause that's- that's- that's the only problem with this. This- this little guy follows my cursor everywhere it goes. There we go. Gotta be like super precise with that. Okay, encyclopedia. See, the issue here is that I've actually been using my trackpad to left-click for most of these levels, because I think I mentioned before in previous videos that my- my wireless mouse has a problem right now where the left-click button doesn't really work very well. Sometimes it just drops inputs altogether, and because of the fact that this uses left-click in order to, like, extend my neck out, uh, yeah, that's a problem, because sometimes if it just drops the inputs altogether, then my neck could end up contracting, and I could end up, like, hitting one of those purple blocks. Okay, I think I- I think I see how I'm- how I'm gonna do this. I noticed a magnet on the left side, so I'm thinking you gotta- you gotta be- be taken through it, right? Yeah, okay, that's- that seems good enough. That seems decent enough. So... Get you out here. Right? Okay, just walk away from that, holy crap. Um, okay, and then what- what do I gotta do after that? Up here? Yes. Okay, it seems like it's gonna activate for long enough that I- that I'll be able to get through it, so jump. There we go. Uh, turret, go down, go down. There we go. Alright. Just wait for the battery to run out here. Jesus. Okay, there's gonna be turrets as well here. Um, okay, I gotta- I gotta go in here. Okay, what is this gonna open up? It opens up both of them, apparently? Okay, but then what does this open up? It opens up these- one of these doors over here. I probably can't extend my neck downwards far enough, can I? No. To get to that other light bulb doesn't seem like I can't- Well, actually, hang on a second. I can just keep you there, probably. Hang on, if I go to this- to this corner over here. Yeah, that's just gonna stay activated. So, then I go down this way, then, in that case. I could probably do this again, yeah? And what if I just keep part of this activated? Yeah, okay, this- this- this could work. Yeah, so let's- let's go into here. Yeah, this is gonna last for a fairly lengthy amount of time. Yeah, so that should get- that should give me more than enough time to- to be able to do this. So hit that, go back in here, wait for the door to open, and that's actually the end of the level. Okay. 3-3, three, three, itchy back! Uh, wait, hello? Who are- who are you guys? Hi. Can I- can I- can I come to greet you? Oh no. Are you gonna- Well, actually, that's the end of the level right there, but I'm assuming that you guys are blocking it, so I have to- I gotta kill you somehow. You're gonna probably kill me. Okay, yeah, you guys kill me in one hit. Okay, so then, go down here. Indeed, okay, well, I'm gonna have to do something about that. Well, actually, hang on a second. What is- what does that mean when the blocks are distorting like that, unless that's just something that- that happens normally? 
with those purple blocks? Can I, can I, do I have to jump over you? Oh, I guess I don't have to. Um, okay, this is gonna be very treacherous. What is that face? What is that face? Oh, maybe I need to activate that to get rid of the ghosts. Maybe that's what I gotta do. Oh, that's just an idea that I have. Uh, mm, I d uh, that doesn't kill me, but the only issue is how do I get to that other body down there? Hmm, I can't just stretch down other- oh, hang on. No, you know what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna do this the other way, boys, there we go. Uh, can I do this the other way? Okay, yeah, I can. God, what happened to my voice there? <laughs> it got, like, really high-pitched for a second. Right. So, this should hopefully get rid of the ghosts. Nope, that's gonna bring them towards me, okay? Well, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, Jesus Christ, well... Okay, so at least I know now that that doesn't actually get rid of the ghosts, it actually activates. Okay, so the ghosts are asleep then, normally. <laughs> that would mean. Um, okay. Well, let's see, let's see about this here. Actually, wait a second. Could I also do it this way? Where I can, like, jump and then put myself- Oh no, that actually doesn't work. I guess because the connection is broken. Okay, hang on. Hold on a minute. So... I already know how to do this section, like this. So is it possible that I can just jump over this? I probably have to. Okay, so you're not helpful to me then in that case. You're detrimental to my success. Okay, go to here. Uh, well, I mean, I'm gonna need to activate you though, because how else am I gonna get that other ghost out of the way? Oh, okay, I may not have a choice. I'm not gonna have a choice. I'm actually gonna have to, to activate these guys and like go around them and try to like juke them. Okay, well I'm gonna have to reset because I, I see no other way to, to go back to there. Because unfortunately I can't fall through the platforms, that's the only problem. Okay. It's time to break out the, the juke mechanics then, or the juke techniques. The juke em like Duke Nukem techniques. Hold on. Okay. Well, if this is how we're gonna have to play it, you know what? I'm totally fine with it. It could probably be a lot easier to do this as well if I just keep my head away from the light bulb. Maybe I should try doing that. Because I can still jump by doing this. Yeah, I can. So hang on, I have an idea. I have an idea to deal with this. And then here we go. Here we go. Okay, it takes some time for them to activate though, that's the thing. Oh my god. Or we could just do this the normal way too. I mean... Hang on, you got, uh, oh my god, I jumped when I should've, why did I not left click? Um, 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 uh, oh, oh, okay, they just, they just move away from that, apparently. Uh, okay, well, bye, boys. Bye, have a nice life in hell. <laughs> right, so this level is called Among the Dead? Um... Well, we have the the magnetized thing back. Okay, let me let me think about this here. Let me think about this here. Okay, th this is not gonna work at all. Okay, the spark plug's right there, but it's going through the the purple stuff. So, what exactly do I want to do about this? Oh, do I just want to like go back around somehow? Hang on a second. What is this? What is this gonna do? Okay, that's kind of what I thought. Oh, it actually deactivated them. Uh, okay, well, the only problem is that- does that also deactivate this- this, uh, this wall over here? Hang on a second. What exactly did I do? I don't even know. Okay, well, I just end up killing myself anyway. Perfect. So do I want to just, like, move them out of the way first? Kind of like that? Well, hang on. I want to move them- move them out of the way even more! What am I doing? My goodness. And go up here. Right, they're not gonna kill me, are they? No, not quite. Oh, they can still kill me even in the wire. Okay, well, hang on a second. I need to confirm something. Does that also get rid of the, the blockage on top? No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay, so with that knowledge, I'd like to go back down here for a second. Uh... Well, okay, actually, actually, actually. Actually. Do this. Avoid the guy at the bottom. Bring you over here. Okay, well, hang on a second. There's not gonna be any way- any way for me to reach the- the light bulb at the- 
at the thing while before killing me? Okay, no, actually I can. I can. Except these guys are now in the way though, so... Uh, um... Maybe not? Uh, wait a second. What did I do here? I can't go back this way because this plug's broken. Well, I can't go back down because now they're in the... Okay. Let's restart this again. <laughs> I, I, I don't- I think what I did wrong is that I, I went back up when I wasn't supposed to, probably. Hang on. I'm figuring this out step by step, guys. Just hold on. Give me- give me a moment here. Give me a minute. Okay. They're in that position now. I think I need to move that bulb closer to the- to the entrance there. Okay. And then I imagine... This... And then go back the other way, probably. Okay, is that gonna stay enabled, though? I guess it does. Okay, well, that's it for that. 3-5 solenoid. Okay, I already see it picking up a brick. Or, or like a block or whatever. Alright, so okay. We only have like three more levels left to go here. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna die when I do this. I don't. Good. Uh, switch. Does nothing. Probably have to deactivate this if I had to guess. Put that in there. Okay, yeah. Throw the block. Okay, yeah, it drops onto that switch right there, which is probably gonna stay activated now, if I had to guess. Okay. Okay, so what exactly is this magnet gonna do here? And make it go over that way. Alright, I am going to assume... Well, actually, no, I need to bring it there because we're gonna make it drop, right? Make it drop. Okay. And then hit this magnet in order to bring it closer to me. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to actually jump into it. There we go. Um, oh my god, what exactly is this? So I'm gonna assume I probably have to do uh, a thing that involves this again. Yeah? That seems like it. Oh. Look at that precision right there, boys. That's apparently the whole level. Okay. These levels are getting a little shorter, which I guess is okay. A crowd control. Okay, this is the penultimate level, guys. And there's- I see a lot of water here, what the heck is this? Oh dear. This is gonna be weird though, because I'm going through the water, right? So... I need to use my cursor to do this. Oh, they don't get activated, actually. Do they not? Oh, I guess they don't. Okay, well there's gonna be- there's gonna be something here that activates them. Man, it's gonna be this. Well, actually... Hang on. Before I do that... What if I jump into here? Oh, wait, actually, no. There's a switch here that needs to be activated. Well, hang on. Oh, because... Okay, well, this is this is the, 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 the spark plug. I at least found the spark plug. Okay, well, hang on. I, I may need to, like, hit something right here. Uh, but where do I go? Oh, God, it's, it's kind of becoming like a bullet hell, actually. Okay, hang on. I think I see what I should be doing. Well, actually, what about what about this one up here? What about this one that I'm that that's also covered in like magenta? Yeah, this is kind of like oh, I could have gone down here before. Yeah. Okay. This is almost kind of like a like a bullet hell because I gotta like avoid all these guys with my with my cursor specifically. So what I'm guessing is that I need to probably go back up, and I think what that might do is that it's probably gonna drop the other light bulb down, and then I have to bring that into this giant block of water over here, like the one on the left, drop it down onto that switch, and then get into the other light bulb body, and then we can just leave. But I have to do that with all these ghosts tracking me, though, which is gonna be difficult. All right, I'm up to the challenge, though. Let's, let's, let's test it out here. Let's test it. Oh my god, these guys are, like, super fast, though. Okay, hang on. At least it doesn't take that long to get back to where I was before. God, do I have to go, like, maybe down? Well, I mean, I could also go to the left, actually. I could go to the left and then go up. That's also what I could potentially do. Yeah, it seems like this is a fairly short level, though. Okay, let me try... Yeah, screw it. Let's let's go around the other way. Oh my god, it's... But it's like they're waiting for me there, though. That's the only issue. So I gotta, I gotta like, work fast, basically. <laughs> right, and I keep forgetting that I don't need to stay within the confines of the walls, because I can move in between the walls. God, what am I doing, man? What am I doing right now? Hi, boys. Hey. Oh, goodness gracious. Do you see the moves, though? You don't even see the... Why did I do that? Oh, there we go. Tactic discovered. Huddle them all into a corner. Why the heck not? Oh, my God. Did I... Okay. 
Well, it was going fine until I decided to be a dumbass and just go right into the magenta. Perfect. Okay, hang on. I think I discovered a cheese tactic, guys. Unless this is how you're supposed to do it, in which case... Whatever, it still works. Uh, ooh, that precision. Oh, that stupidity, though. That stupidity. Hang on a sec. Wait, I can... Hang on. Hang on. Hold on, I'm using... I'm gonna use my other hand for this. I gotta use my other hand. Hi. Uh, go down here. Get out, please. There we go. Nice. Okay. Maybe that is what you had to do when you went... What was that? What is this level called? Wait, what is the title of this level? Myocardial infarction. Farction? Does that mean- is that supposed to say infraction? I don't- what? <laughs> okay, whatever, this is myocardial infarction. What the, the world is this? Alright, open this. Oh, hi. This is a boss? Error. Okay, why- why are you experiencing an error, buddy boy? Well, what exactly does- what exactly does that mean? Can you kill me if I- if I crash into you? Oh, maybe- maybe you can't. Okay, hang on. What are you doing here? Okay, well, you blew up, but I mean... I- I have to, like, reactivate you. Okay, this is like a boss fight or- uh, of some sort. Okay. Clear? Oh, Jesus. Yeah? You're, uh... <laughs> Okay, you're- you're a bit of an angry boy, I see. You're a bit of an angsty boy. Alright. Well, that's all fine and good. Uh, I should probably go the other way. Oh god, the- Okay, wow. That- it's like- he knew. That- that freaking ghost knew exactly what I was up to. What if I just stay inside of him, or will it, like, kick me out? Probably. Oh no, I just- I just stay in him. Well, I mean, I can still move around. I can move around like this. Okay, well, hang on. What if I- what if I go over here? And then, like, go up this way. Yeah, clear. Okay, god, that kills me instantly, though. Oh, hang on a second. Maybe this is how I have to defeat him. Just move my head around, probably? I don't know, maybe it could work? I don't know, we'll see. I mean, I still have to move around the, the, the ghosts, obviously. Um, okay, this is a bit of a- this is a bit of an issue right here. Ghost, ghosty, please. Well, you know, the good thing is that I can at least move my cursor faster than you. Oh, and you go to sleep when he's, uh, when he's having an error. Okay. Oh, I see. And I need to actually, like, try and, uh... I need to get to him be before, like... Like, he only stays in error mode for, like, a, a certain period of time. Ooh, okay. So, if he does this... Then literally all I have to do is just move my, move my cursor around. Okay, okay. I... I see how we can do this. I have to, like, bait this ghost, basically. <laughs> yeah, he goes... Ghost, ghosty boy goes to sleep when, when, uh, yeah, when this guy is getting, like, damaged. Okay, so what exactly, like, how exactly do I have to do this? Okay, hang on. Bait him. Bait him. Bait him, boys. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, hang on, hang on. Yeah, this, this, this field right over here. Ooh! Look at that. Look at that precision. Look at that damn precision, boys. Oh, yeah, you got nothing on me. Got nothing on me. Okay, how many how many hits do you take though? I have no freaking idea. Oh, never mind. I guess you're dead already. Only three? Uh I guess so. You're done, boy. Alright. <laughs> okay. God, I got so nervous there. I thought for whatever reason I had to like maybe try and kill him like or I had to like hit him probably ten times before he finally got destroyed, but no, it was only it was only three times. Okay. Well, uh, the end. Yeah, that was it. Like, he short-circuits the first time, which actually starts the boss fight. Then you hit him again, and then the ghost spawns. Hit him a third time, second ghost spawns, and then the fourth time is when he finally dies. Alright, well, I guess that's it. I don't know, that felt a little bit anticlimactic, not gonna lie. Uh, but that's it for the game. Yeah, that was the- that was the final boss, I guess. Yeah, and I think all of the, uh, all the levels are unlocked now, I believe. They are. Yeah, okay. I don't know if this is, uh, if this is a typo. I'm thinking this is supposed to say infraction, right? I don't exactly know, man. But that was it. That was that boss fight. Okay. Yeah, so I think that boss fight was actually a lot easier than I thought it was, because I think what I have to do is that... I guess if I want to make it harder on myself, I could use the circuits to, like, move around him. But I think a much easier tactic would be to just, you know, hold down left-click, 
hold my head outwards, because I guess he can't destroy the my body itself. And then just, uh, yeah, just make some very precise movements when not only he starts activating his shield, but also when the ghosts come along. Yeah. So I guess some of these levels rely heavily on how fast you can move your cursor around, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, like if you have good twitch reflexes, then this game will probably just be a cakewalk for you, but... Other than that, I mean, that's the entire game, guys, so that is Static Cling. Uh, that was a pretty enjoyable game other than that. It got, like, very difficult in the third world, though. That was, like, a, a definite increase in difficulty, like a sudden difficulty spike, but... I definitely know how to, you know, deal with those ghosts now. Because they can't destroy my light bulb body itself. They can only destroy my head. So if I just keep... If I, like, extend my head and just move my cursor around the ghost, then they basically can never hit me. I see. I definitely get it now. Yeah, so that was... Th this was an interesting concept for a puzzle platformer, at least. I would definitely like to see this maybe fleshed out a bit more and potentially turn into a final product someday. It still kind of blows my mind that there were, like, ten different people who worked on this project. But then again, that could also explain why this is one of the, you know, higher quality games that have been, uh, that have been submitted to GMTK Jam this year. Um, I like that. I like that quite a bit. It's a very clever little puzzle platformer. I do kind of feel like it ends maybe a little bit too soon, but then again, I can't blame them for not being able to add that many levels into the game because they were working under a 48-hour deadline, so... Yeah, that was that was pretty good, man. I enjoyed that a lot. I really do like the, uh, the pixel art aesthetic. It's definitely high quality for sure. Some work definitely went into the pixel art for absolute sure. The controls feel quite fluid, no pun intended, considering there are like blocks of fluids that you have to that you have to move yourself through in some of the later levels. Yeah, you can basically control your head with your cursor. That's actually pretty cool. See, I was making most of this game a lot more difficult for myself because I kept forgetting that you can actually move your head through walls, but your light bulb body cannot. Is my phone really ringing again? Are you freaking kid? <laughs> Well, that time it was nobody I knew. God, this doesn't sound at all like another video that I recorded just a few days ago. Yeah, I get a phone call from someone I actually know, followed by someone whose number I've never seen before. That doesn't sound at all like my Terranil video. Also, Windows is apparently trying to install updates now, so you know what? Windows is clearly trying- every, the entire world is trying to sabotage this video at the very end, so you know what? I'm ending this now. I really enjoyed this, man. That was Static Cling. This is definitely one of my more favorite entries from this year's GMTK Jam. And I mean, so far, this is the only one I've played. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do videos on more of the GMTK Jam entries. Maybe I will, but I would much rather include those maybe in like a, a double feature of some sort. Oh my god, dude, my CPU usage right now. Okay, whatever. I really enjoyed that. That was really well done, man. And it's quite impressive that this was done by like 10 people. It certainly feels like it was done by an entire team of people, for absolute sure. It's it's just that good. It's that high quality. Frick it, go play Static Cling. It's not gonna last you for too long, probably, but the, the hour or so that you'll get out of this game, it's very much enjoyable. It's worth it. If you want to download it, the link is in the description. It's only available on itch.io right now, but anyway... Windows is trying to sabotage this entire video now, so I'm gonna- I'm gonna leave until- until my footage gets, like, freaking corrupted again. Right, so with that being said, thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later, guys.